Okay, so let's do a quick UX design breakdown to Android Industries new user interface for their Eagle Eye AR glasses for soldiers. So previously I've done some UX breakdowns for other AR and VR products, uh, also covered uh, the old Microsoft uh, HoloLens uh, IVAS program for the US Army, and also covered few UX and UI design decisions in different VR military simulators and games and the ideas that the military can actually draw from them and created few prototypes uh, about you know VR and AR use cases for the military also tried few VR military simulators for defense uh, forces and police units and along the years also created a few prototypes of my own especially this one that you can tell that Android kind of nailed all of the scenarios I talked about in these videos. First prototype, by the way, uh, I created it uh, in 2021. Uh, it's on my second YouTube channel. Um, but if you are following me on LinkedIn, I occasionally cover these kind of things and also share my insights about defense tech. So let's begin. This article by Upload VR is doing a great job in an in actually analyzing what uh, Android Industries is working on right now in regard to their VR, AR headset or XR headset and obviously AR glasses so you can see here cameras for tracking obviously and there are some weird I'm sure that it has something to do with uh, more sensors for the AR glasses to monitor the surroundings and they also have similar uh, sensors on top of the full face helmet now the difference between these two is uh, that the right one is kind of like Iron Man helmet with no see-through clear lenses. So if on the AR glasses you get uh, clear uh, see-through lenses just like on your daily sunglasses then here it's an optical see-through AR glasses. On the other hand this one is just like the MetaQuest 3 uh, on the Apple Vision Pro you don't have clear see-through AR, you have AR pass-through which are actually collected footage from the AR cameras, uh, from the cameras outside the headset or the helmet in this case and they are providing this video feed inside your uh, internal lenses that are obviously small screens just like in VR headsets and doing this kind of mesh of mixed reality from a footage collected by these uh, cameras outside and I think AR layers in real time just like on the Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest 3. So that's in regard to how this technology actually works. Now let's dive in the footage they shared. By the way, I've added my own insights to this video last night when they just shared it. So you're welcome to read it on LinkedIn and also follow me. And so what do we see here? So right away I can see that there is some sort of video games inspired compass with a mini map. As you can see it shows the north. It shows the angle uh, 35 degrees that the soldier is looking, probably, I guess, I'm guessing. And as you can see, it's a 6, dof, six degrees of freedom uh, tracked map uh, as a layer added to your heads-up display. Now, the heads-up display itself is kind of static, just like on, you know, 3 degrees of uh, freedom glasses, or the old ones. Um, but for HUD, even in 6 dof headsets and AR glasses, we need... Uh, predefined compositions and positions for UI elements that we keep in uh, the user's view. So when it comes to soldiers, you have to have this kind of uh, compass, uh, which by the way, almost identically similar to my latest product a few months ago. Anyway, so what, would, what do we see here? So the minimap and the compass is a great mix because you can see both of them on the bottom left uh, portion of the screen. And as you can see, it's uh, the tracking is kind of just like on a normal uh, AR and VR headset. Um, you know, the soldier is moving, the, the user is moving the, the head, and uh, the heads-up display is trying to catch up with where the user is looking. Now, they've added some kind of uh, video game-inspired UI that is modular to, I don't know how the soldier is going to control it. I guess that maybe the gloves or maybe um, neural band, just like Meta introduced um, with their new... Uh, Meta Raven display glasses, but I don't like the fact that it's positioned right in the middle of the soldier's view because this kind of user interface could kill the soldier and endanger his life instead of helping 
uh, him or her during the battlefield because this kind of view that blocks your uh, sight is not really good. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about this one because I believe that in terms of uh, user interfaces for AR, even if, if we are talking about helmets for bikers or bicycle riders, I don't really believe that the user interface should um, block the what's in your view in terms of the ground and surroundings. I believe this kind of user interface should be up top, so just like what I've done with my prototype if you have seen it on when I shared it uh, here and I've added this drone footage top right section of the screen now so as you can see it's also kind of trying to catch up uh, tracking uh, uh, and bringing this picture in picture mode to where I'm looking so it's kind of hard display uh, compared to the compass which is uh, always floating above me and shows me the north and the east and uh, stuff like this but whenever I give the soldiers some uh, Additional information, for example, the drone footage is now smaller because I obviously improved the prototype. Um, so the drone footage is smaller, it doesn't block my view, but eventually nothing hides my surroundings. Uh, for example, enemies appearing through the door or even something or obstacles on, the, on my way, so not, nothing, nothing hides my surroundings. Uh, so that's something that is very important because uh, I've seen that uh, Android Industries may be invested in better user interface design but eventually these all things are blocking my view so if an enemy pops from this container I have almost zero chance to actually notice it because there are some stuff that actually in front of my you know it's not in a peripheral view just like this one because this one is a uh, kind of okay but this one is a disaster but they're using here a uh, smart user interface I think it's uh, inspired by uh, I, I remember video games that I played as a kid or maybe when I was in the army uh, I think it was uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare, it kind of had uh, this kind of similar UI because they also feature some kind of AR glasses for soldiers in the battle um, and uh, this is when I was a soldier, I remember that I said, wow, this is cool, I, I, I wish we at the IDF had some kind of uh, AR glasses, so back then when AR glasses was kind of sci-fi, <laughs> um, I had this uh, fantasies about this kind of uh, technology, but eventually it's kept in my mind and uh, Eventually, when I deep dived into VR and AR technologies 10 years ago, when uh, actually uh, Palmer Lucky founded the Oculus, uh, then I kind of developed these ideas in my head, and then with the Quest 1 and the Quest 2, actually built some prototypes uh, around these kind of things. Anyways, this, this user interface is uh, supposed to actually enable the soldier to go to, I see that this one shares Lattice, so I know that Lattice is the uh, Android Industries uh, uh, Battlefield uh, Artificial Intelligence. I can't really see. Okay, this says six dove. Okay, so interesting. Maybe the soldier has a control on to enable six dove for the entire user interface, or maybe keep it uh, three dove. I don't know. That's that's an interesting design choice. And then there is a laser. Okay, turn on the laser, or maybe the lidar. I don't know. It's blurry. I can't read. Uh, using lattice, I think lattice should be something that uh, is constantly 24-7 helping the soldier to actually keep, uh, getting decisions about uh, uh, the battlefield and having some situ better situational awareness which is critical for soldiers and sensors that's interesting so this one says off so right now the UI is kind of trade off I don't really understand from this UI but it's just a mock-up so so I see that the, the soldier actually switched view from Okay, so he, saw, he chose sensors, and then within sensors there is a sub-menu, there is low light, it is fused, there is sensors again, and there is thermal. So he's gonna deploy low light, I guess. No, he's gonna deploy thermal, okay, and now he sees thermal footage of the battlefield, so he can see actually the body heat from this uh, enemy, the, the hostile, which is nice. And as you can see, the AR actually gives this kind of uh, rectangular uh, frame so in case he goes in behind the container there is a drone footage also this is nice this is the same thing that i done with my prototype and once again keep in mind that the, the minimap and the drone footage are kind of now blocking at least uh, 30 or 30 percent of the soldiers views which is not good and also the design decisions they took here is that uh, the uh, forced glass frame that actually blurs everything in behind this window behind this frame also, it's not helping the soldier to actually read because the, the only desi design principle behind frosted glass user interfaces that Apple actually introduced in iOS 7 
and Microsoft introduced it in Windows Vista, if, if you remember this one, is to improve the readability of the text. But right here, I can't even read what it says. As for the numbers, I can read it. As for the title, I, say I can read it. Anyways, this is uh, supposedly the drone footage with also a thermal uh, view. And everything is fused as uh, AR layers that gives this soldier multiple sensors from his helmet, from his comrade's helmet and also from the drone so they can actually triangulate this enemy where he is exactly in space so he also gets this AR layers and his uh, comrade also get the same AR layers depending from uh, where they stand and from their point of view. This commander actually sees his uh, comrades uh, next to him which is great so each friendly soldier gets uh, this green or maybe bluish color so he will know that uh, his friends are behind this car so even if the, he can see them in real life the air layer actually indicates where they, they are so he is going from low light to fused okay fused i guess it's multiple sensor sensors so now you can see thermal with night vision and uh, maybe infrared um, and also these air layers coming from uh, you know drone footage satellites and maybe i don't know what and as you can see fused also shows a skeleton uh, view of your friends and the enemies so you can see friends and foes clearly behind obstacles what what we call wall hacking because you can see uh, people through walls basically so this is something that i've done with my prototype here as you can see uh, when i said um, the, term, the thermal footage or maybe some footage from other sensors and drones that are looking uh, at the living room of this uh, building you can see that there is a terrorist and there is a captain levy uh, uh, across this door so when i open the door in my prototype i can see the real people behind the door and also i've pr provided a different thermal and uh, fused vision so i can see them through walls which is unrealistic because you know in in, in prototypes i can do whatever i want but eventually in real life you, you're gonna fall back to the skeleton view so as you can see this is nice to have but uh, android did it more realistically and as for the mini map i just added here some <laughs> you know rectangular map so they did it even better but mine is transparent and not translucent so it doesn't really block my view so i can see everything behind this map the readability is kind of um, not perfect but eventually you know there is constant co constant pros for every design and here i can see the, re the real uh, enemy the hostile but once again kudos to android design team because it's a mock-up but i believe that they will deliver most of it because palmer like is a doer that's why i'm only criticizing the design decisions they've done here because some of them are not good as you can see right now i've got this ui of minimap this ui from drone footage window and another layer of uh, threat de defeated, okay, because th this guy is actually eliminated the hostile enemy. So that's nice, but eventually, one, two, three, and if I open the mini menu uh, in, in front of me, I basically blocked almost 80% of the user's view, which is not good. Now let's switch scenarios, now it's a daylight scenario, as you can see the minimap is still here. Uh, I really like this, uh, where how the minimap and the compass actually show showing the directions, so north is kind of changing to... And the arrow is kind of changing and also you see that the, the degrees are changing pretty well so just like we all used from video games transition detected radio transition so the larger title is nice but those ones i can barely see them and once again as you can see the mini window the information layer is kind of blurred because that's the design decision behind uh, translucency which i'm not a fan in ar but um you know it has its pros and cons and yes i know what you guys are gonna say hey you wrote this article in uh, 2019 yeah I, I admit i remember it but uh when i said that trans transparent uis are not readable for text i was only referring to text as for translucent ui as you can see that the text is readable but i can't see through uh this translucent ui because it's blurred so the reality is blurred behind it and as for the transparent ui i can see everything but eventually the text is not readable the map is not readable so once again, I don't know what's uh, better for soldiers, but it's a new thing. So we will have to conduct more and more tests. And I believe that the guys at Unreal will actually uh, do a good job. But right now in the concept, it's not good. Let's continue. So you can, as you can see, they also did this translucency in the AR compass uh, above the soldier. So once again, you get real-time compass uh, above and also this one on the minimap so i guess that 
in the settings, you can actually hide the minimap, for example, or hide the compass itself, so you won't have uh, duplicacies. Anyways, ghost sticks, I guess it's the drone, right? Strike options, okay, he's ordering, he is actually ordering drone strike, which is nice. Once again, I'm dying to know how he's controlling this one, maybe he's, he has some additional buttons to the uh, um, flashlight, uh, just like the flashlight and the laser. Uh, but maybe he, it's an EMG bracelet or maybe neural band just like Meta is doing because Meta and, Meta and the Android Industries are now doing this thing together as they announced. So that's interesting. Dart. That's a drone footage. And target eliminated, which is nice. So, and he also has an additional rear view, just like in cars, so you can see his soldier. So now I know that he's not alone in the field. So as you can see, he's leading the squad and there is one, two and three. No, there's two guys behind him. So that's very nice, so you can see actually his uh, fellow uh, squad, uh, squad members, so that's amazing. So I kind of like this scenario. And you can also see them uh, behind him in the map, I just, I just noticed because uh, rectangular uh, shapes is not the way I would introduce uh, my soldiers. Uh, I would go with triangles as well. And the, rect the rectangular ones uh, kind of resembles cars or maybe Humvee behind me, so that's uh, kind of another des the design decision that they will have to actually go with. Okay, landmarks, which is amazing because I, as you can see, now soldiers could use laser, uh, IR laser, which uh, naked eye can see, but eventually enemies today have night vision goggles and, uh, and you know, some sensors that they can see, invisible laser, just like IR laser that the naked eye can see, but sensors and cameras can see. So right now what he's doing is projecting some sort of AR, augmented reality laser, in order to uh, mark a landmark uh, or point of interest for other soldiers or maybe attack helicopter and uh, gunships and stuff like this so that's a nice one as you can see marked it so now i can see the mark also on the compass so and also on the minimap so this is this is kind of a uh, very important scenario for soldiers so for example you saw an yeah, enemy rpg or whatever or, or a gunner you can actually um, mark it on, ta on, on the target and also tell attack helicopter or even a drone to actually go and uh, execute that's that's very nice and i think that's all right so as you can see i've got uh, <laughs> many articles about it especially how to design for vr and ar or xr as i call it and also the fusion between ai and xr or my first article from 2020 ai and xr are made for each other so if you are kind of into this kind of stuff in generally ai and vr and ar or ai and xr and also, in additionally, into defense tech technologies, make sure you follow me on LinkedIn and say hi. All right, guys. See you later.